Hi everyone. Um, it's important to check and manage uh, your app permissions on your Android phone. If you're not careful, apps can have access to things like uh, your camera, your microphone, or even your telephone to dial numbers without you knowing. So in order to check which apps on your device uh, have to various features on your phone, uh, you want to open the settings as I've done here then you want to scroll down and click on apps and notifications. So just click that then scroll down and you can see app permissions about halfway down and click on that. And that will show you a list of the features on your phone, uh, which you can check which apps have access to them. If I just back out for a second, if not all um, Android menu systems look the same. So if you couldn't find app uh, permissions that way. Click on the search bar and just type in app permissions and it'll pop up that way and then just click on it and it will highlight where that is. So here we are back in the list of various phone features that apps may have access to. So let's just click on the camera for example. So here you can see uh, where the switches are green. These are where these apps have access to your camera. So for example, Chrome has access to my camera. So when I'm using the Chrome app, uh, without my knowledge, it may be looking through my camera. Same here for Costa Coffee, for Discord, uh, Discord uh, Fitbit there, for example, Google Play Services, uh, even my bank seems to have access to my camera. So all you need to do is just on this page, or let's take Chrome for example, hit that and switch that off. If Chrome needs access for a legitimate reason, you'll get a pop-up and then you can decide on a case-by-case -case basis if you want to let Chrome use your camera. So just back out of that, and then let's have a look at microphone. So this means that the apps where this is checked as available can listen uh, through your microphone, what's going on. So Amazon Alexa's got it, uh, it needs that. Uh, I've got a home automation app here which says it needs it. It certainly does not, so I'll deny. Um, the camera needs that Chrome again, so I'm going to switch that off. Uh, what else? Uh, and Google, I'm going to switch that off as well. So be very careful with these app permissions um, because you're not sure how much of your personal or sensitive data uh, is uh, being collected by these various apps. So it takes time to run through those. I've just gone through the camera and your microphone. You've also got one here, telephone. If you look at that, these are apps that could access your telephone and make phone calls. So here I've got one called Apollo, which is a music player. There's no reason for that to access my telephone. So I'm going to turn that off. Um, and then there's a few others, contacts. My printer, for example. Why does my printer need to access my telephone? So let's turn that off, for example. So very important that you go through these. We install these apps and we're not quite sure what permissions they have, but hopefully I've shown you a way here that you can check which apps have access to which features on your phone, and then you can decide if you think they need them or not. That's it for today. Uh, that's tip number two uh, for securing your privacy and uh, security on your Android phone. Uh, stay tuned uh, for further tips that are coming your way and maybe even consider subscribing or hitting that notification bell so we see each other in another video. Take care everybody.